Hi, I'm Caroline. Welcome to FYI Newsbyte. Here's what we found for your information this lunchtime. A peaceful resolution. Police in Sydney have ended a standoff with a man claiming to have a bomb who had locked himself in an office with a young girl. The man was taken into custody in the last hour after a tense 12-hour standoff with police in the Parramatta district of the city. The man's 12-year-old daughter was released and reunited with her family. Cops say she's distressed but otherwise unharmed. It remains unclear whether explosives had been found in the man's backpack. A battle to control. Authorities in Texas have admitted they're struggling to contain a massive wildfire that's already destroyed nearly 500 homes. At least 5,000 people have been forced out of their houses in Bastrop County, about 25 miles east of Austin. The blaze has already destroyed 25,000 acres of land along a line that stretches for about 16 miles. Well, it's scary, you know, you can't go to sleep. You're, uh, you, then you, if you do go, you wake up in the middle of the night thinking about it. Playing the waiting game, thousands of Libyan rebel fighters have surrounded the town of Bani Walid as rebel leaders try to negotiate a surrender of the town. Meanwhile, a large convoy of Gaddafi soldiers has apparently deserted, crossing the Libyan desert into neighbouring Niger. It's unclear if the convoy included any members of the Gaddafi family. Remembering history, almost 3,000 people died in the attacks on the Pentagon and World Trade Center 10 years ago. All this week, FYI remember them with a series of special reports. We begin tonight with President George W. Bush. In a chilling interview, he describes what was going through his head the moment he learned that America was under attack. First, I thought it was a um, light aircraft. And my reaction was, man, it, it, either the weather was bad or something extraordinary happened to the pilot. You can see more of that interview later on FYI. Rattled, a powerful earthquake has jolted the western Indonesian island of Sumatra early today, killing a 12-year-old boy. The magnitude 6.6 .6 quake sent people running from their homes in panic at around 1am local time. The earthquake was too far inland to generate a tsunami. And finally, check out this for a feast. What you're looking at is the world's biggest stir fry, and that's official. Dozens of volunteer chefs stateside use specially built rakes to push thousands of pounds of vegetables around a 14 foot wide custom built frying pan suspended over the flames by a crane. When they weighed the giant pan, a Guinness Book of World Records rep confirmed they didn't just break the record, they smashed it. FYI is interactive. From your opinions to news you think we should be covering, we want to hear it all. FYI is available to you 24-7 online for all the information you need to know. Simply log on to tv3.ie forward slash 3e forward slash FYI. Here you'll find the latest stories, video catch-ups, comments and the FYI blog. We're also available to you on Twitter and Facebook. Just log on to the website and hit the social networking shortcuts. Time now for a look at the funniest clips on the web. Here's our top five. At number five, summer seems long gone, but here's a classic beach prank to brighten your day. <laughs> at number four, it's his first sour sweet and dad's captured the magical moment on camera. At number three, there's more than one way to tease your bird, you know. At number two, why you shouldn't attempt to do your own dirty work. What on earth is in this guy's rubbish? And number one today, fountain jump, <laughs> fail. Good recovery though. Tune into FYI later for the newest downloads. We'll have more on the top stories, plus catch up on today's tech news with Cassie and Paul will be here with all the sport. We'll see you back here at six, right here on 3E.